we're still rocking and rolling here on the Gator Box Extra Life Marathon. 11th annual one, by the way. I'm sure you guys have picked up on that by now. You know, it's the title of the Twitch stream. And if you're watching this on YouTube, I, I know I've said it in the introductions to many of our games. But I, it's a big deal that this is our 11th year doing this, man. 11 years. That's almost that's that's almost one entire American public schooling, first grade through twelfth grade, right? Uh, next year is going to be the big one. It's going to be our graduation ceremony. Hey, maybe I should go find my graduation cap and gown from high school and wear that. <laughs> I kid, I kid. So coming up, we got Ducktales two. But before we get into uh, uh, Ducktales. We do have a $50 donation from MRL, and he says, I'd put something funny here, but I can't think of anything right now. So, maybe maybe if you think of something funny, you can donate a dollar and be like, here's, here's, what, I, here's what I thought of. <laughs> <laughs> or just post it in chat, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, thank you for the 50 bucks. It's all going towards a fantastic cause. And every little bit helps. That brings us to $1,218.43. Uh, so uh, that puts us over the hump for another game challenge. So I wrote that I wrote that down just now. I owe you guys another one. Uh and uh, if if uh, if we don't have time to get into the game challenges uh, as we finish games on the schedule, we do have a two-hour block at the end of the marathon schedule tonight reserved just for game challenges. So we'll be getting those done. Uh, that'll be before Bible Buffet. But moving on, we got DuckTales 2, DuckTales a oh, wow. while. <laughs> and uh, this, this game has... A history on the Gator Box Extra Life uh, Charity Marathons. It's got a history. Um, DuckTales 2. It, there's DuckTales and there's DuckTales 2 on the NES. Um, DuckTales 2 is the more refined game, in my opinion. And it's the one I, I prefer. It's the one I like more. So that's why I picked it for the marathon. Um, I guess I could probably learn DuckTales 1. Maybe we can, I don't know, just do both games one year i don't know but uh one of the the, the speed run routes that i like in ducktales 2 is getting uh the good ending which means you collect all of the treasure including the secret uh what was it eighth treasure which is the big ruby in the in the uh, secret stage so uh going out of your way to get uh, all five level treasures there's two hidden treasures uh, one in Egypt, one in Mew, and then when you collect all the treasure map pieces, uh, you go to a secret uh, sixth stage where you get the eight, the eighth item. So uh, there's seven pieces to the map, the treasure map. There's one hidden in uh, all five of the regular stages. One appears in the the the, the, the uh, store that you play between levels, and then you start the game with with one piece already as part of the puzzle. So, uh, uh, DuckTales 2 is, uh, <laughs> DuckTales more like fuck fails. <laughs> yeah. That's why I said the game has a reputation on Extra Life. Uh, the last time we featured DuckTales 2, uh, it is an incomplete run because I game overed while trying to get the final treasure map piece. It's a really difficult triple enemy jump that you have to do, and uh, I just failed at it. I just, I didn't do it. I couldn't complete it. I tried multiple times, and I died like four times in a row in Game over and uh, we were too far into the run for me to restart, so that was the end of the run, so I'm like, screwed up, you guys. So I practiced DuckTales 2, and I went to this level and practiced this triple jump multiple times so hopefully when we get to it we'll be able to knock it out and be like yeah look i did it what of it so uh so that's uh what's on deck what's on duck uh so let's move back on over to our stream layout and get da -da -da duck tails underway
<laughs> All right. All right. We're playing on easy again for marathon safety, as always. Uh, it's not because I'm not a pro gamer. I could I could do this game on difficult if I felt like it. I just uh, don't feel like it. Anyways, DuckTales, whoa. DuckTales, 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 whoa. Three, two, one, let's start. This game's called DuckTales, whoa. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Need my route. There's a piece of the map already. First ability in the game. This guy gives us abilities. So what this does is uh, there are two kinds of blocks in this game. Soft blocks and hard blocks. And uh, those crates right there that I just jumped on, those are soft blocks. Uh, you noticed I jumped on one with my cane and it, it broke, cracked open, disappeared. Uh, there's also hard blocks. Uh, we saw a couple of them in the stage so far. We'll, we'll, we'll see some more later. Uh, but that ability lets me jump on hard blocks and break them open. Let's go walk under that guy. I've seen it done before. more soft blocks right there. Alright. Here's Fire Quacker. Five hits on the boss, all it takes. Next is the sunken ship. Man, thank God for lightning.
So this is also the location of the final boss. We'll be back here later. There's an alternate path that opens up. Those blocks right there, those those silver blocks, those are heavy blocks. So that's what my upgrade allows me to, to jump on and break. map ahead. They, they really put these out of the way. And like walk into the wall to find them. You can also break blocks by swinging your cane at them from the side. Like that. Uh, so the ability that we got now allows us to break heavy blocks by swinging them. And this is something that will come in handy. We, we will need these abilities. That guy's AI sucks. You can uh, you can mess him up just by staying on that upper little ring, and he'll just keep jumping, jumping, jumping. here. This lets you pull heavy things like this with the cane. We're going to use this a grand total of one time. hiding a secret back here. We gotta drop these two barrels in specific places. There was a clue earlier in the stage uh, that shows you which of those two you're supposed to drop barrels onto. The island rises up. Isn't that some? Again, so they hide this shit like really out of the way. I don't know how you're supposed to find this casually. So now we can go down here. Formerly, it's a one up. Formerly, this was underwater. And there's a secret treasure. And now here's where we're gonna put our abilities to use. These are hard blocks and soft blocks, and you can only get through here if you picked up both of your uh, skill upgrades.
And there's the treasure map piece for this stage. So if you don't have your ability upgrades, you can at least get the hidden treasure, but you're not going to be able to get the map piece, so you're not going to be able to get all the treasures. <laughs> Scrooge is like Builder Mario, but slower. Yeah, he kind of is with that ability. Boss time. This guy sucks. Oh. It's giving me a nice pattern, though. You have to kick a block at him before he can be damaged. So you do that, then you jump on his core. guy giving me a good pattern. What is this RNG? Yeah. Me likey. had someone put a heavy barrel right there and uh, that's to keep everybody from from robbing their graves and it worked for so long until until Scrooge McDuck showed up clue for this puzzle somewhere else in the stage. I think it's right over here, actually. Yeah. But the code never changes, so, you know, you can just write it down. And, uh do it that way. Treasure. Bounce up here. 
Here's where we're gonna use that pull heavy things ability. Hook the mirror, boom. And there's the secret mirror. So that's both uh, hidden treasures located. And I fucked up the jump. One out of two ain't bad. So uh, that's both secret treasures. One in Mew, one in Egypt. Coming up on the boss here. submit Raiders of the Lost Ark for 2600 next year as a game challenge I don't you need two controllers to play that though oh that's the joke okay I mean I don't have a way to configure two controllers so let's not do that Okay, we're gonna get the last treasure map piece in here. Pull the handle, pop out the block. Pop it, block it, lock it. See that, that flying hand with the lantern? That's the enemy we have to bounce on. Three of them. past the checkpoint anyways. Here it is. First try! First try! There's the final piece of the treasure map. So my route is not the fastest. This is just what I'm comfortable with. But we got all the pieces of the map. Now that takes us out of the stage. And there's a secret in the stage we're already in. I got all the extra lives for. I was buying them for, for marathon safety's sake this time. Which is probably a good thing because I died in a couple of weird spots just from fouling up on the game. If you're going for a big score, uh, you gotta come here because there are a ton of the big red rubies that are worth like 50,000 points apiece. A ton of them in this stage. So if it's all about the score, post it. Uh, this is where you want to be. We're just here to get to the boss and get the secret treasure.
God damn it. Now I'm a frog. There we go. And there's the secret treasure, a big ass ruby. Big ass ruby. Now we're going back to Scotland. So we're gonna do we're gonna do the first half of the stage again. The faster route is to go through all five stages, and when you're at the end of the game, uh, purchase the final map piece from the store. That's the fastest route, but uh, I I do this route because uh, it's it lets me save up the extra lives. Fight the same boss again, except this time he's going to be much easier. Like I said, much easier. even kill Scrooge if he falls? Uh, gravity. <laughs> so you can see the sunken ship has now risen from the deep. We're back here. And, it, and instead of going down, which you can't because it's blocked off now, we can go to the right and there's a path over here. This is normally blocked off with the same barrier when you're playing a normal play. So he's kidnapped one of our nieces, and we're going to have to give him the treasure. But he's he's lying. He's not going to give us Webby back. He turns into the D-1000. Really easy, boss. That's the end of the game. 2340. Incredible. The D-1000 was defeated. There we go. All right, so while the epilogue is going, my fastest time is 20 minutes and 33 seconds in this game, so we're not looking at a PB. No Surrey, no PB. I think Scrooge only has one niece. Yeah, I think I spoke wrong. He's got multiple nephews, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Look at that. He also hid one under his hat. He didn't give up all the treasure.
who is canonically the father of all these nieces and nephews? Isn't it Donald? Here we go. That's what I call music. That's what I call music. <laughs> All right. So, uh, that's DuckTales 2. Actually got through the run this year. That's a win. Put it in the books. Not a PB, but, uh, uh, I beat it this year. Last time we featured DuckTales 2, it was a failure, and I felt it was maybe a cursed game, but I just got through it. I've done this before on Extra Life. I think this is the third feature DuckTales 2 has had in our Extra Life events. So the first time we did DuckTales 2, I cleared it. Uh, I think that was at one of the, the two times I was at the, the Rackspace building. I think it was 2014. So we knocked it out. Uh, easy. Ease. And, uh, yeah. World record fastest DuckTales 2 run on Gatorbox on November 5th, 2023. That's right, regular Magic Unicorn. It's another uh, daily world record. We set it right here, 2340. That's it. I'm just saying. That's, that's, that's a fact, Jack. That's a fact. All right. Thanks for checking out this video by Gatorbox. To see more videos like it, please subscribe to the channel. You can also support this project financially at patreon.com forward slash Gatorbox. You can also follow us at twitch.tv forward slash Gatorbox to catch us live every Friday night at 9 p.m. Central Time for our main show. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.